Moodle, a learning management system. What is Moodle? Moodle is a free learning management system. It's an open software that allows educators and institutions to create their own private website. In it, you can create online dynamic courses that support distance learning or extended learning with online activities available at any time and from anywhere. It's a robust platform with more than 10 years of development and constant updates and is being used in more than 70,000 teaching organisations in more than 300 countries. And there are about 100 language packs that can be automatically applied to the user interface. Teachers can upload their content, add tasks or qualifying questionnaires. Among the activities available in Moodle, there are collaborative activities such as forums, glossaries, wikis or workshops. Being an open source, you can find extensions that include new functionalities or new types of activities, or you can even develop custom elements. Moodle Overview Access. A Moodle platform is essentially a website. Moodle can offer some visibility to unidentified visitors, but in order to use the system to its full extent, users must be registered in some way and will use some access credentials. It's usually a username and an access code. In some systems, a self-registration process may be enabled, but in others, the system administrator must provide you with the credentials of your account. It's always necessary for the user to have an email address operational, especially to be able to complete the self-registration process. To access the user, you must use the login dialog which is accessed from the link that's normally on the top right hand side of the page. Roles. In Moodle, each user can be assigned different roles in different contexts. For example, the user can be a teacher in one course and a student in another. The system offers different capacities to the users according to their role assigned in the page that's being looked at. This is especially noticeable in the menus of the navigation and administration blocks. Appearance. Moodle is completely configurable in terms of appearance, so that what we see depends largely on the decisions made by the administrator in terms of the aspect template applied, colours, typography and content of the cover. In any case, the structure imposed by Moodle is maintained, which includes some general elements. A header area with the logo and the title of the site and some general menus such as the user menu which normally appears in the upper right corner of the window. The navigation bar, or breadcrumb, offers links to the top points in the hierarchical structure from the current page. The content area is usually consisting of a central main area that's used, for example, to show the content of the courses, and one or two side columns containing the so-called blocks that offer different information or specific functionalities. A footer area, which is usually used to include logos, useful links, etc. In general, the Moodle aspect templates are responsive, so they adapt to the size of different devices, reorganising the different elements mentioned above. General menus. Languages menu. Each Moodle site can establish a default language, but can also offer the user a language selection menu that usually appears in the header of the window with the available languages. The administrator can decide what languages to install and offer. In addition, each user can set a preferred language in their profile, so that when the system enters it, this will be the language that's applied to it. The user menu. This appears normally at the top right hand side of the page and offers links to user friendly pages such as your personal area, your preferences, the messaging system and the system exit, among others. My Courses menu. 
In some sites, a menu is offered with the courses in which the user is enrolled, facilitating the user's navigation. This is valid for both students and teachers. Blocks. As already mentioned, the blocks appear in one or two lateral columns in all of the pages of Moodle. These columns can appear one on each side, to the right or left of the content area, depending upon the applied aspect template. There's a great variety of blocks and each one can appear or not according to the type of page or the specific page that we are visiting and our role in that context. The contents of a block can also change depending on the context of the role. And an example of this is the navigation and administration blocks, which appear on almost every page, but the menus they include depend upon each situation and the user that is accessing it. Normally, blocks can be closed and unfolded by means of icons in their header, thus occupying less vertical space. The dock. In addition, in your system can be enabled the dock, which allows the blocks to collapse completely on one side of the page and stops occupying space in that page. A collapsed block is available since it can be displayed momentarily to access its content. Among the multiple blocks of the system include the navigation and administration blocks. They are presently practical in all of the pages and their contents are adapted to the context and the permissions that the user has granted in that context. For example, a teacher or administrator on the page of a course have a course administration menu with all the options that allow you to manage the configuration and content of the course as well as the users registered as students, their qualifications, etc. Special pages in a Moodle site. The main page or front page. The administrator can decide which elements are shown on the cover, typically offering a view of courses on the platform and a course finder. Some templates also allow you to include a carousel of images that you can use to give direct links to featured courses or other interesting external sites. The cover may have different content for identified visitors and registered users. The personal area or dashboard. Users have a personal page that shows mainly the courses in which they have been enrolled, indicating pending tasks in those courses. An access to a personal file area is included if enabled. The user can configure up to some extent the additional blocks that appear in his personal area. Front page versus personal area. The system can be configured so that the main page of a registered user is your personal area instead of the front page. And it can also be allowed that the user is the one who, de who dedicates which one of the two options is his preferred initial page. A Moodle course. In Moodle, the courses are organised into categories. The categories and subcategories form a tree equivalent to the tree of folders in a file manager. Users access a course normally by clicking on the name of the course from the category or from their personal area. Other possible ways to access a course are My Courses, if available, or the Navigation block, from which you can navigate the category tree from the option Courses. Structure of a Moodle course. In Moodle, a course consists of an initial section or summary and a configurable number of sections or topics. Within each subject, the actual contents of the course are included. In its simplest state, the contents are shown as a list of elements with an icon that indicates the type of content and a name that allows to open that element. There are two general types of content resources and activities. Resources allow information to be given to students in one direction without any interaction. They can be any kind of documents or links, a Moodle website, a video, etc. The activities have as a common feature that allow a demand or response from the user such as submit a job or answer a test. There's a great variety of resources and activities and the system can be extended, including new types of activity, so that it can be used in the courses. 
In some cases, the content of a resource can be displayed directly in the content area of that course. This is especially interesting in videos. Aspect of the course page. From within a course, the navigation block allows you to go through the sections of the course to directly select a resource or activity. On the other hand, the administration block includes the course administration menu. From this menu, the teacher can edit the course settings, for example its name and format, as well as a large number of options to control different functionalities at the course level. The course page can show the course content in different ways, depending upon the format selected for the course in the course adjustments form. The most common formats are by topics or by weeks. Each one applies a different meaning to the sections of the course. In addition, you can select the number of sections that the course contains and some other options such as if all the sections are shown on the page or the only one section at a time. Create or modify content of a course. The teacher has to use the edit mode in order to handle the contents. For this, there is usually a turn editing on or off button in the upper right area. This option is also available in the course administration menu from the administration block. In edit mode, the course page is filled with icons and drop down menus that will allow you to edit the settings, show and hide, move or delete sections and resources. Also, a special block appears to, to add new blocks to the course. The blocks also have their icons or edit menu with which they can be handled and moved individually. In each section, there's a link or button to add a new resource or activity. Normally, you have the pop-up of the activity selector that allows you to select the type of item that you want to add, together with a small help text before confirming its creation. Whenever a content element is created, the system offers an element settings form to set its specific parameters. These depend on the type of resource or activity chosen and will always contain at least the name of the resource. You only have to fill in the minimum of mandatory fields since you'll always be able to modify the settings of any element from the editing menu. Whenever a resource is created, it remains at the end of the section in which it was created. Then, from the course page in edit mode, you can move the resource to another place within the section or move it into another section. This is done by using the move icons that are usually to the left of the resource and drag and drop to, this, to the desired point in the content area. The label resource has a special utility in order to structure the content of the course. It allows you to create text including links, images or embed objects like videos. It's often used to include small descriptions, to structure the sections into subpoints, or to include graphic elements that are directly visualised on the contents page. The text editor of Moodle. In every part of the system where the user can enter a text with styles, the same visual editor is used. There are at least two different options, the Atto editor and the Tiny MCE, that have similar characteristics. Atto is designed to be very simple and allows fewer variants. The administrator will set the default chosen for the system and each user can decide in their preferences which one to use. These editors will allow you to include images, links, embedded files and graphics or multimedia objects. In addition, it's always possible to use a basic mode since the HTML code is edited directly, which gives great power but it's not suitable for all users. This mechanism is used, for example, to embed other objects or external pages. Mm -hmm.